Salawam, all praise and glory to Yahweh Bashin Yahusha, double honors to Yahweh Apostles of Great Millstone, and salutations to Akim, teaching all truth and sincerity. Uh, this is your brother Shaquai here, um, coming with a quick um, video, um, a response to in transit becoming a new creature um so uh this is um first corinthian uh second corinthians lucky second corinthians 5 i'm gonna start at 17. uh therefore if any man be in hamashiach he's a new creature old things have passed away behold all things are new i become new so um when you're when you're um in the body of Yahusha, um your old com the old conversation of the old man basically passes away. Like you become new because um you're basically changing your entire life to line up with um with Yahweh Shai to line up with the the, the um basically Yahweh Shai is your role model. He's the guy that he you want to be like Yahweh Shai. Um so you change your life and you walk the path that he walked and you uh basically do what he would do if he was here on earth again. You know, because when he when he was here, he followed the law, statutes, commandments. He um didn't sin really. Um, he didn't um he he tried to follow the law, statutes, commandments to the best of his ability, well, based to his ability he could, and he didn't really sin. And I'm not saying um, well, I'm I'm saying like you basically try. Not to sin in this, but we are in this flesh, and um, possibly you um, will sin unknowingly, especially in this flesh. Um, but you basically try to follow the law, statute, commandments to the best of your ability while you're in this flesh this fleshly prison but in this um this body that you're in you try to uh follow Yahushua's teachings and you and you read the scriptures and you um basically um are a new creature through it all you are a new creature um you um become as new because you're coming out the world from being a nigger to uh becoming a disciple of Yahweh Shai basically like like you're basically coming from what you knew before to something completely and totally new like like knowing that you're Israelite knowing these laws, such commandments, and falling to the best of your ability. You're not going to um, eat pork. You're not going to commit adultery. Um, you're not going to do anything offensively towards your brothers in the faith. And you're going to try to uphold. Like you're going to try to to do what you have to do in the law to make sure you don't go off. You know. So that that's basically how you become a new creature, but you know, I say I understand that sometimes you unknowingly sin and you don't really realize you just sinned or you you don't really realize that was a sin, and sometimes you do need to ask questions from uh, other men of the Lord if that was going off or not. So I understand that too when it comes to like 
coming in the fake. You got to ask questions. Is this going off? Is that going off? Am I doing this wrong? Or is, is did I do that wrong? Is this in the law that I did that like unknowingly and now, you know, and always repent and, and pray to, to the most high Yahweh. Uh, pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and, and he will direct that path. He will help you. Uh, they will help you. Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai will help you in your path to walk, you know. So I'm going to go to um, Ephesians chapter 4. I'm going to start at verse 21. <laughs> Uh, it's Ephesians chapter 4 verse 21 um, If so be that ye have heard him And have been taught by him As the truth is in Yahweh Shai um, uh, that, they, that ye put off concerning the former conversation The old man which is corrupt According to the deceitful lust, so your old com the old the conversation your old conduct it was corrupt, and it was it was deceitful. It had deceitful lusts in it. So your old com your old the old conversation the old man. <sighs> this super wicked. <laughs> I can say like super wicked, you know. You know, and twenty saying be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that ye put on the new man, which is after your hour. Oh, Slaki is created in righteousness and true holiness. So basically. When you come into the truth, it is Yahweh Shai, like, because Yahweh Shai is the word. Um, he he's the word, and um, this you know we're preaching the gospel of Yahweh Shai. We're preaching the doctrine of Yahweh Shai because um, he he is the spirit of prophecy. Basically, he he's the you know, concerning the old conversation, the old man, the old conduct of the old man. You, you, when you come in, when you um come into the body to hunt out your house, you get new conduct, you get new a new conversation. Uh, you become a new man in in the faith in your spirit of your mind, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind and. And you put on new man, which and which after you how was creating righteousness and true holiness. So you put on this new man, and he was created in righteousness and true holiness. So, so you become a new man in this faith, in this walk that you're walking, this path you're walking, and, and you know, so. I'm going to go to Colossians chapter 3 and start at verse 1. <laughs> um, Colossians 3 verse 1. If ye then be risen with Hamashiach, seek those things which are above where Hamashiach sitteth on the right hand of Yahweh. Uh, set your affections on things above, not on things on earth. Um, yeah, like uh, the scriptures say, um, don't uh, care about most things down here. Like, don't care about the riches about this world because um, care about the things that are in uh, are in heaven where moth and rust do not, you know, um, affect the things that are up there. You know, that's why I don't like worry too much about things that are 
that rich people got because I know that shit gonna get destroyed on this earth. It, like, like, like I care about like expensive things. Like, I like I would love a big ass house. I would love a nice car. I would love all that stuff. But then at the end, I'm thinking like that shit gonna be burned to the crisp. You know, I you know I rather um get that stuff when I get to the kingdom. I'd rather have a big, I'd rather have, instead of having a big house, I'd rather have a big palace. Like, the biggest palace in all of Israel. Like, it's so big that I can have brothers over, and then my house can be, like, completely shut off from, like, all my women on one side and all the men on the other side where I'm at. Like, I, like my entire house is shut off. From the women. Like the women can go. Their wives can come up. Like the men of the Lord's wives. Can all come to my house. And, and spend time with my wives. And they could all talk about. Each each other's husband. In the same palace. You know. And it's, it's, it, it, I thought about that. Right now. That's crazy. But you know. It's the kind of palace I want. I want a big palace to the point where it's like. Everybody. In Israel, and come to my palace and sit for 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 dinner, and I can serve the entire nation from the top elder to to the um to the um from top elder to the to the um non top elder. You know. Anyway, I just thought about that. Oh, nice. 144 at my house. <laughs> 144 at my house. And then, um, the, the, all their children. It's a lot of people, but, you know, it could work out. <laughs> it's a lot of chance. <laughs> it's all his world at my house. Anyway, uh, it's a lot of going off topic. But anyway, set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth. But that could happen, you know, the most I can allow. Me to have the biggest palace in in Israel if I'm part of the elect, <laughs> but you know I'm I'm a for ye are dead and your life is hid and with Yahweh Shai, with um Hamashiach and, and Yahweh. <laughs> when Hamashiach, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Mortify therefore your members. Which are upon the earth. Fornication. Uncleanness. Inordinate infection. Evil concupiscence. And covetousness. Which is idolatry. Yeah. Fornication. Is. Um, I think fornication. Uh, oh to fornicate I believe that means uh, either it's not adultery but it's not um, it's not out of wet it's not like sex before marriage I don't think that's fornication it's not, not fornication um, it's lucky I might have forgot I, I remember kind of but I don't want to say anything that is wrong because like I believe I someone told me it was a long time ago, but it's been a long time since I heard what fornication actually meant again. But I do remember it was something had to do with um it had to do with either adultery or it had to do with um homosexuality. That that was part of fornication, adultery and homosexuality. So I got to really um, look up that word again. And then I got to um, ask some a brother about it again. Because I forgot. And uncleanness. Um, unclean, unclean, uncleanness is. Um, you know. Just being unclean in general. Basically I think. Uh, in order infections is homosexuality, I believe, and you know, in, or or effeminate uh, men, you know, masculine women, 
um, or it's like bugged out of shit that you know the scriptures speak of that uh, evil concupiscence is sin, covetousness, uh, thou shalt not covet. Uh, that, that's uh, in order infections could be like, uh, you know, a man having an attraction to another man, a woman having an attraction to another woman. Uh, you know, it can also coincide with, you know, incest. That's an order, in order and affection. So, but yeah, um, for which things sake. For which things sake the wrath of Yahweh cometh on the children of disobedience, in which ye also walked some time when ye lived in them. But now ye also put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filth, uh, filthy communication out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds and have put on the new man which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him so we put off all well we put off the things that uh put off these things um that uh we put off these things that um But, um, like, we put off the things that we, um, used to do when we were acting like niggas, you know? Uh, I would say we, we're in the flesh. Um, brothers get angry, um, about certain things. And, you know, the spirit of Yahweh and Yahweh can get angry, too, about um, and cause, well, the most in the script, in the Bible, in the, um, in, in the scripture it says, be angry and sin not, you know, uh, so, yeah, so we, we basically become a new man and we put on because we're renewed in knowledge and we, you know, and as it says in Isaiah 33, verse 6, wisdom and knowledge should be stability of our time. Like, as we gain knowledge, we gain uh, faith and patience and hope. Um, you know, so I'm a. Go to the next scripture, the last scripture. But before I do that, I'm just going to, um, as, as you basically walk in this, uh, path you're on, and it, like, as you know that you're Israelite, as you know that, um, uh, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the true biblical Israelites by blood, um, as you're reading the scriptures and you're growing spiritually as you're um learning uh about your uh heritage and you 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 stop going to the Christian church you stop eating pork you stop eating uh, the that cockroach uh seafood uh the crab the shrimp the clams all that Stuff that's abominable, uh, that uh, pork, that uh, anything that was that was in the dietary law not to eat, you stopped eating, and you completely changed your life like that. Um, and you're serious about this thing. You, you're serious about being around the brotherhood. You're serious about coming around the brotherhood. You're serious about teaching. You're serious about putting up videos. You're serious about everything. And you continue in this, and you pray that you're a man of the Lord, and that the Most High is supping with you. You pray, and you don't don't take this Holy Spirit away from me. Um, you and you, you, you completely 
trying to be that new man that the scripture is just talking about. And you're not trying to be a hypocrite about it, you know. And that's what I believe is the um the example of you put away that old conversation of that old man and then you completely turned you did like a what's this they say sometimes when a person does something like a turnaround they say they did a total one eighty or a total three sixty. They completely changed their entire life. They were in this they were in this um, circumstance. They were in this rut for a long ass time. And then they completely changed their entire life. You know? And they did an entire makeover. You know, a tire, you know, uh, entire turnaround, entire spin. And then everybody around you can't understand or understand can't get with it until like years later like it took them a long time to even accept or even like to like really like like he really is serious about this shit like he really is a serious guy about what he's doing he's serious about going to the line on Saturday he's serious about reading his scriptures he's serious about doing his videos he's serious about um he's serious about how Bashim Yahu Shai He's serious about doing the work of the Lord. That's an entire 180. It's like he was in this rut. He, he he was in this. He completely changed his life in in about I know, however long you were in that rut. You completely changed your life in the past. How many years you've been doing the 180, and you continue doing it. You know, and. I think in the scriptures it says those that continue, um, uh, those that, um, either life for my sakes, I think Yahweh said they'll get a reward, um, and, and I believe, yeah, he said they'll get a reward for it, and, They'll get a reward for it in the end. That's what Yahweh Shah said. Uh, so, I'm going to go to Ephesians. I'm go back to the book of Ephesians. And I'm going to start at chapter 2, verse 10. Um, this is Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. For we are his workmen created in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, with good unto good works, which Yahweh have before ordained that we should walk in them. So, yeah. Walk in the path of, Yah uh, of Yahweh Shai um, is basically ordained. So, so <laughs> to be a prophet, you had to be a prophet before, so you fall back in your lot, um, according to reincarnation. So, uh, if you were a prophet back in the ancient world, you're a prophet now. So, you know, and the Most High chose chosen chooses the prophets to preach the word and to wake up the people, because he sends the prophets before the great destruction that comes upon the uh uh. For great destruction comes upon a kingdom, an entire uh, a kingdom, because we live in Esau's queendom, which is Babylon, which is uh, A.K.A. America, because this is spiritually uh, Sodom and Egypt, Babylonian society. It's all kingdoms rolled into one. So we live in Babylonian society. We live in America. We live in Babylonian America. Babylonian America. <laughs> so we live in America, which is Babylon. And um we are the prop and the spirit of Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy. So we're walking in in the path of we're walking in the ordinance of Yahweh Shah's path. And um you know the you know 
trying to do the good works of Yahweh Shai while on earth, you know. So, um, I'm gonna say Shalom, all praise and glory to Yahweh Vashi Yahweh Shai, double honor to all the apostles of great millstone, and salutation to you, I can teach in all truth and sincerity. And I hope this was edifying, and I'm gonna say Shalom. Uh,